Hey everyone, so here I have a altered canvas um, using um, lots of mediums um, and uh, Prima printery paper and um, embellishments. And um, this was actually a creativity kit. Actually, the um, all the printery stuff that I gotten was a, a creativity kit that I bought from Carla's 001. And um, I think it was last year, it was right around the time that the line came out after Summer CHA. And Printery was just my most favorite one from Summer uh, CHA from um, Prima. And I just loved all of the paper and all of the embellishments, the colors, everything. They Everything was just so pretty. Um, I've done a couple of projects. As you can see, I've got some leftover paper because I just don't want to throw it away um, but the, I've done a couple of projects using it I did um, um, uh, caddy boxes and I did a, a what did I do a shadow box as well with this paper so as you can see I still have some more and um, I'm going to try and use it up on a couple on, on other projects but I wanted to show you guys what I came up with and um, so that is the whole thing, and I, I just hope it's not too busy. I always get too afraid that it's too busy. But let me show you what I did from top to bottom. Um, so up at the top, um, well, in the background, I uh, painted the canvas. And this is a, um, I think it's a 5 by, I don't even, should I remember what size it is. Um, let's just get my ruler here. If I can get it. It is, let's see, let's measure this real quickly. It is an 8 width by 10. So it's an 8 by 10. Duh. <laughs> it's an 8 by 10 um, canvas, flat canvas. Is, it's flat. So I um, painted the back with um, the folk art. Uh, metallic champagne which is one of my favorite uh, colors um, to use so I painted it in the background I painted it uh, uh, the champagne metallic champagne and at the top I um, I used some Prima lace that was white it looked like this and um, I use antique linen stain Tim Holtz antique linen stain to distress it and um, and so then I got it. I got that color here. And then along the lace, I um, used Carla's silver uh, pearl drop um, trim. I'm not sure she has this trim anymore. It came in the kit, but she does have many different colors. Um, and then over on this end is a Prima butterfly, and it came in a pack of four. And those are the other colors that it came in. Um, I just mod podged down um, paper in the background, some of the design paper. Um, I did it here. I kind of did it along the bottom, even though I covered it up. And then I also did it um, behind here. There's two different design papers. And then I, I actually painted over with the champagne, um, a metallic champagne paint. And then this is um, kind of like a shield. It's a shield. And what, how I got that was I, um, I used one of my new Tim Holtz stamps that came out this winter. It's this stamp set. And it's called The Sketch. And um, I used this, this one. And what I did is I, I stamped on a piece of paper and then I cut out a stencil and used molding paste to have it uh, raised a little bit and then once it dried I um, I took the stamp and then I used the pitch the pitch black uh, paint dauber and I stamped on it and then I used from um, from the stuff to say set stamp set I used um, experience is not what happens to you is what you do with what happens to you so um, I love all the sayings that come in his stamp sets, and that's, that's what I did for the shield. Um, 
I did use white molding paste and I used the champagne, the metallic champagne to paint over it once it dried. Um, and then in the background, you'll see that I have like these stamps. I use some stamps um, with the paint daubers. And so um, I had used another one of the new, um, this one's the mixed media stamp set. And I had used this top one for in this corner and then along the side down here. And the color that I used, I uh, used uh, the Juniper Paint Dauber to use on this stamp up in those corners. And then this key stamp that I also did, um, I did two rows of it, is a Prima stamp. It's, um, it is from the printery set. And so um, I just stamped it along here. And then um, down the side here, I ha I used some of Carla's 001 um, uh, leaf trim, this gold leaf trim. And then um, to darken it a little bit, I just used my walnut stain um, distress ink over it a little bit. And then these flowers are from um, the printery line. And then the little pearls that are in the middle is from Carla Store too. I think these are the four millimeter. Um, these are the four millimeter uh, pearls. And um, again, I'm not sure if she has these in the store, the silver, because uh, this came in the printery kit. But she does have other colors, and I will have links on my blog, and I'll have a post to my blog um, um, for you to go to the links. Um, so then, as we travel down. It just comes down to the bottom where I, I did this whole flower arrangement with some of the Prima flowers and Carla's flowers and buttons. Um, these flourishes that you see, uh, pearl flourishes, are from, it's a print, print, Prima flourish. Um, this corner of flowers um, are Prima flowers. This is from the, these are all from the printery kit. And um, um, there was a tube of flowers that I got. I don't know. I dumped the flowers out. And I don't even know how Prima even gets those flowers in there or how anyone gets them back in it. Um, as you've all seen, their their tubes are like this, but I couldn't get them to fit. So um, if anyone knows the key. <laughs> but anyway, um, so these are these flowers are from the printery uh Kit, or the printery line and then these buttons as well I love these buttons these vintagey buttons and then these flowers um, these mulberry flowers are all um, are the mini the little I think it comes in the these ones are the ones that come in the 144 pack and they're white and I love and I you guys have seen me do this on other projects but I love to um, to not color them all or leave them white but I love to take like my distress inks or my stains or my paints and just daub on the top of it to get a to give it a highlight and um, this one is the juniper this I used walnut stain both the ink and the stain and then this one I used the silver dauber and then this is a prima flower as well from the printery set um, as well as this one and then these background flowers as well and then um, again there's the buttons and then the mulberry flowers that I um, daubed on color and then um, some more of the flourishes I did some more design paper in the back here I mod poshed it I crinkled it up and I distressed inked it and I mod poshed it down and then in between you can see that I have some of the uh, the gold uh, flower or leaf trim and then up here I um, I cut out a clock um, from the printery paper, or uh, actually it's not from, from the packaging, from the Prima packaging. So I cut it out and I put it here, and then these are the pearl sprays. There's the beige and the black pearl sprays. So that is, let's see, that is my project, my altered canvas that I did. Um, I hope you guys like it. Upcoming is pictures, and um, you can get a better look at the pictures um, on my blog or if you are friends with me on Facebook. Um, 
I believe that I am actually going to put this up on my Handmade by um, Evil Scrapper on Etsy, and so look for that as well if you'd like to purchase it. Um, so talk to you guys later, and I hope you're all being crafty. Bye!